So, you know, I've been doing this shit on YouTube now for about 10 years. And in that time, I've seen quite a lot of change. And possibly the biggest change that I've seen within that time is that we've gone from a period where I first started, where it all seemed to be, everybody seemed to get on pretty much, to a period now where there are unbelievable levels of, of rancor, bordering on hatred, I would say, between different atheists in the online sphere and I know that is something that disappoints a lot of people something that causes some people to almost become sort of depressed or despair as if this shows that there's something terribly wrong what I'm on this video to say here today is that I think precisely the opposite is true. I have seen that situation develop and while there may have been periods along the way where I've purely viewed it in a negative context, taking it in a more holistic sense, I actually think it is a very, very healthy sign. And it's something that I would be somewhat concerned if we weren't seeing. To give this a little bit of context, of course, I started on YouTube back in 2008. And at the time, it has to be said that we all got along a whole lot better, both on YouTube, I was going to say on social media more generally, but there wasn't quite the same breadth of social media. But also, if you went beyond that, there were a whole slew of atheists, secular, skeptic conferences, conventions being held there. And generally, people were getting on very well. These things were well attended. But gradually the wheels started to fall off and this is something that's been quite well documented, quite well spoken, talked about. 2012 was kind of the key period where things started to head a little bit south in that regard and I think there were probably two issues there. Um, the, first were, the first issue sort of led to the second. The first issue was that people stopped just talking about this narrow group of things which we all had in common, but started expressing their actual political beliefs. And the second thing that happened is that people realised, to their shock and horror in some cases, that some of the people that they'd been associating with didn't share their political beliefs on all these other issues. And for some people, that was something that they couldn't handle. And that's where these fissures started to appear. I would also say there's been a little bit of a political shift uh, certainly on YouTube, when I started, my politics has barely shifted, really, my political centre of gravity. I would say I felt firmly to the right of pretty much everybody who was identifying as a sort of YouTube atheist when I started. Except maybe somebody like DPR Jones felt was a little bit of a bedfellow in those regards. But as somebody who's political central, I felt like I was looking left at everybody. And now it feels pretty much like I'm looking in both directions. To me, that seems a healthy thing. I know some other people don't regard it as such. They kind of preferred it the way that it was. But what has happened is, is that it's one thing that it has led to is a lot of polarization. We saw this about a year ago where a guy called Lee Moore tried to organize this big atheist conference. And he had these kind of ideas of bringing the community back together and having people from different sections. And it really, it all exploded in his face. And what we saw was that a lot of people don't want that at all. They simply do not want to be associated with a lot of other people. They would rather stand there and smear label them um, and try in many cases I have to say and this is one aspect that I'm not so happy about the disagreement I don't mind I welcome but trying to dismiss other people through the kinds of tactics that we used to criticize we used to say that isn't ought not be what we are about and yet they're more than happy to do that once you enter into the political sphere. I think that's a load of bollocks. Too much of that goes on. But what I'm here to say is, is that this level of disagreement, this level of rancor is not something to be depressed about. It's something to welcome. It is something to embrace. Because if you think about it, if you regard atheism as something which 
is only appropriate to a narrow political band, then what you are saying is effectively it will always remain some terribly minority position because it's only really people from there who are going to be atheists in any number. And I say in any number because it doesn't matter who you talk to. The people who espouse this kind of thing, that atheism logically leads you to these certain positions, will say, well, of course you can be right wing or you can have these awful opinions and be an atheist but logically if you're an atheist you can't hold any of these opinions and it appears to be a perspective that is founded very firmly I think in the United States whereby religion particularly Christianity is very much uh, integrated into politics and seen as a right wing thing and that really isn't the case, certainly in the United Kingdom, where um, belief in God or disbelief in God is balanced almost identically between the right-wing conservative and the left-wing Labour Party in terms of their voters. You, th there's about half a percent between those two things. So it really isn't a case that being religious is a right-wing right -wing thing and being irreligious is a left-wing thing. So we really don't have that perspective. And it doesn't seem anything like as odd to us that atheists would have strong disagreements once you start looking beyond that narrow focus of God belief. And that is why what has happened online to me has been such a positive, a positive sign. And it should be to everybody else, because what it's showing you is, is that this isn't some crapola, politically narrow thing. But actually, this is something that can appeal to you, whatever your politics are. You can still reach the same, what I regard as rational conclusions as to whether or not a God exists. And it also brings us on to something else which is something that I've expressed before, but I think is, is, is very much married to all of this, which is that we still need to be very, very careful in tying some positions up too strongly with atheism, as if that is the atheist position. And I know it is tempting to do that. If there's something you feel strongly about, you've got an atheist organisation and you want to talk about abortion or gay marriage or something along those lines, to tie those things together, because they are, in fact, more important issues than, than um, the Kalam fucking cosmological argument or something like that. And I get that. But I think it's very, very important not to overstate those things. It's fine for an organisation, as long as most people are on board with it, stating that as a position and making the arguments. But tying it intrinsically as the atheist position, I think, is dangerous. We've seen that with regard to evolutionary biology in the United States, where there are clearly some Christians who could accept it, because we know that Christians in large numbers can accept evolutionary bio biology and see that as squaring with their religion. The Catholic Church has done that for crying out loud, but they will not do it because they see that as the atheist belief. That is the thing that you believe if you are an atheist. That belief has become so intrinsically tied in with not believing in God in their minds that, it, that the, their rejection of, of atheism uh, means that they then end up rejecting that perfectly rational field of biology as well. That isn't a win there. You've not gained... If you insist on tying those things together... You don't make anybody believe in evolutionary biology, but you probably lose some people. And that is what concerns me with some of these other arguments. I think if you tie in atheism to some of these other things, um, which I'm m more than on board with, such as the sort of pro-choice abortion thing or gay marriage... Um, you don't win anybody over with that. Nobody thinks, well, I'm an atheist then, so I better start being in favour of these things. But you probably do harden some hearts against them. Far better, in my view, is just to leave the whole, the whole atheism thing to one side. It's not really relevant to any of it, to be quite honest. You can make secular arguments, and it is true that some of these things depend upon certain religious arguments to be opposed to them, but that doesn't mean 
the being in favour of them uh, is intrinsically an atheist position. Anybody can still hold that position. So I think that's very, very important. I'm interested to know what other people think about this, especially people who live in the United States and have that kind of experience of living in a society where it seems that religion is much more tied into politics and there is an expectation that if you are very religious that that well certainly if you're white and very religious that you are going to 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 be to vote republican and therefore the idea that in some ways atheism is a kind of left-wing thing um and even the demographic shows that does it not that the majority of people who normally just live in those kind of blue states uh, so I'm kind of interested with regard to that, how you feature this in. And can you see beyond that, you know, that when you look at the bigger picture, in actual fact, what we have seen over the past seven or, or, or eight years online is an opening up. It's an opening up of atheism as not being this narrow thing. That the vitriol, that the rancor, if you take away the people that don't want to have an argument but just want to cut people off, uh, if you take away that aspect of it, that the simple fact that we disagree and disagree quite strongly and in some cases dislike one another because we have such divergent opinions and yet are still atheists that in actual fact from a perspective of that, from the perspective of being an anti-theist and preferring to see less religiosity in society going forward, that that is actually a positive sign okay interested to know your thoughts on that thanks for watching and bye